this world that's filled with so much noise and information, how do we really stand out and be who we were really meant to be? In this podcast, we focus on injecting you with positivity, optimism, and strategies all centered around helping you be who you were always meant to be in business and life. Be inspired to show up in your own skin to learn strategies, habits, and skills from others as we share our own life journeys and stories. There's no other you, and you know yourself better than anyone else. So be prepared to take away habitual tidbits, tactics that will encourage you to pursue and live your life, not the one others want you to live. Welcome to Stand Out Be You, where you don't have to be perfect, you just have to be you. Yes, this is Tequila Doddard, and welcome to another episode of Stand Out Be You. I am excited about this episode as we have made it over 20. Can you believe it? When I was looking to start a podcast, they said that most podcasts, this is what the stats say, do not make it over 10 episodes. Most don't even make it after 10. So to have 20 now, I'm pretty jazzed and it's all because of you, the listener. With that being said, in order to keep this going and to give you what you want, if you could do one of the three things for me, go over to tequiladaughter.com and leave me a message and let me know of a topic that you would like to discuss on the show. Or number two, leave me a review, comment, and of course, subscribe. Or number three, apply to be on the show. And again, you can go to tequiladaughter.com. Okay, so... Today, I thought, let's reflect a little on previous episodes. In the previous mini life lessons, we spoke about telling your story. And as you've heard from our guests so far, they are sharing their stories and they're making an impact in their communities across the internet, right? Because they did decide to do this, they're creating their own sources of income flow and they're at the same time helping others. I hope that you've been able to gain a couple of aha moments from the show and knowing that when we do share our experiences and our stories, we do help others as we discussed in episode number four. When we do share authentically, as mentioned in number eight, we begin to shift our perspectives and the world around us, making everything in our life or making ourselves happier. And we discussed this in episode number nine. And then when we moved on into episode number 11, we began to speak about fielding bolder, um, feeling less frightened about things that may come up in our lives. And we then went into speaking about how we can stop sabotaging ourselves because we can be our own worst enemy, right? So we talked about that in episodes number 13 and 15, how to start getting rid of the negative talk that tends to kind of creep into our lives or creep into our heads, right? So When we do believe more in our very own existence, we can make meaningful change in ourselves in order to surround ourselves with the right people and the right community. And we talked about that in episode number 19. And this leads me to today's mini lesson where we're going to talk about you as usual, but we're going to talk about your dreams. So let's get on with it. Whether you feel that achieving your dreams are a long way off or just a few moments away, it's very essential that you feel confident that you can reach them. And a lot of times we tend to put our dreams on the back burner. We tend to fall short of our dreams or we completely forget about it. The key to getting your dreams to become a reality is to believe in yourself and your ability to actually make that dream happen. Only you can make it come true. Only you can stop the doubts that kind of creep in, like as we said a little bit earlier, and keep you from reaching your dreams. If you've doubted whether you can reach your dreams, 
try a couple of strategies that I've put together here for you today. Learn to recognize self-doubt. Are you aware of how much doubt is affecting your dreams? The first step is to recognize the power that self-doubt has nothing over you. If it does have something over you, then you really need to look into how to recognize that self-doubt and change it. You may have a dream, but you're not really going after it. Doubt can paralyze you and stop you from going after your dreams and it can really slowly destroy your dreams. Has that happened to you? You may not have even noticed how much is really hurting your dreams. And when we hurt our dreams, we're in the end, we're hurting ourselves. Avoid letting the struggles stop you. Struggles in life, they're going to happen. Struggles also increase the doubt that we have in the ability to even achieve our goals. They can also cause us to give up and just completely throw our hands up in the air and walk away. Struggles and challenges, I have to tell you, they are a natural part of the journey of you walking towards your dreams. So don't let the struggles and the challenges cause you to walk away from your dream. Have them cause you to walk towards it rather than pretending that the issues don't exist or that you can avoid them, face them head on. Know that you can find a solution and continue moving toward your dreams. It might be a different path than what you originally planned and that's okay, but consider that it might be even better for you to actually go that different way. Have you ever thought about that? Recognize when you're given excuses, because we all do it. We're human, right? If you don't believe in yourself, then you can create many excuses to stop you from even going after your dream. You may tell yourself that you're not worthy of your dreams or that your dreams are foolish. Or you may allow someone else to get into your mind and tell you that that dream that you have doesn't make sense. You may convince yourself that you don't deserve the success, you don't deserve the happiness, or all the good things are just waiting for you right there around the corner. Doubt can make you stay in a zone of comfort. It can allow you to stay right where you are right now. Your excuses might include that you don't have enough time or you don't have the resources to achieve your dreams. You may also blame your family, your background, or other aspects in your life. Recognize that you're using these reasons for excuses. For better results, think of them as simply challenges that you can find a solution to and then get busy. Act with confidence, and we've talked about that earlier on the show. Even if you're scared to step forward, It's important to act with confidence. And you know this old cliche, fake it till you make it, right? That applies right here to what I'm saying to you right now. You must go after your dreams with so much passion and so much confidence, even when you're scared and uncertain. Practice by doing things that take a little, not a lot of courage. Not only will you get some things done, but you'll also make more self-esteem because you're doing things that scare you. You can build up your confidence over time with little courageous steps. Now, view your challenges in a new way. Life is filled with teachable moments that can help you get your dreams. Usually they take the form of challenges. Challenges can shape and transform you. Instead of thinking of your challenges as a failure, look at them as learning opportunities or results that can show you something new and maybe even a more effective approach. Each challenge gives you the chance to experience something new and learn from it. 
They are a sign that you're growing as a person and you're making progress. They mean that you're getting closer to your goals. They're the stones in your path that act as the markers for the final destination. And that final destination is your dream. They're your dreams. So self-doubt can destroy any dream. It can make you feel like you're worthless. It can make you think that your dreams aren't possible and will never happen. But this isn't true. You can defeat this negative thought process with strategies like I've mentioned here today. Regain your self-confidence and go after your dreams. Wake up. Your dream is right there waiting for you. I'm Tequila Dottard, and thanks for joining me here today. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today on Standout BU Podcast. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you could take the time to share this episode with someone you think would be touched as well, please go ahead and do so. Or if you know of anyone that has a good story that needs to be shared, then go ahead, let them know as well to reach out to me. Also, if you are motivated to do so, please go ahead and leave a great review. I would so appreciate it. And tell us what you think about what you've been hearing. Also, you can leave me a voicemail by going to tequiladotter.com. It will help us so much with keeping this podcast going and helping to reach more people. Until next time, remember to stand out, be you, and that you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be you.